real quick making this video because I forget how to do this when I move to a different Wi-Fi network. So I just finished hooking this one up to the Wi-Fi, but you want to plug in a cable in the printer and turn it on. You can turn it on or off at any point and plug the cable into the computer. You want to download a program called Putty, which we open up. We click the session button at the top. Don't click the serial one here. And you type in the COM port. Well, how do you know the COM port? Oh, you have to click serial. How do you know the COM port? Well, you open up device manager. This is on Windows. There should be a ports. Open up ports. Oh, serial G code 3D printer COM5. So your port is COM5. Close this up. So we just change the serial line to COM5. Speed, let's make this super fast. 115200. This is the maximum for this printer. Keep everything else the same. Click open. If you do serial, it will not do a session. I don't know anything about Putty, but trial and error taught me this. Open. Unable to connect. Access is denied. Oh, maybe this is because I have this program open. Let's close this up. Try it once more. Open. Okay, we made a connection and you can check the status by doing this command, M27. M27, it didn't write anything, but it did, and then enter. Not printing, great, so we have a connection. M550 for the SSID, you type M550 space, and then you type in your network. I'm gonna type mine in, but you guys can't see what it is. Enter, and it'll say, okay, and then for the next command, M551 password, so you do M551 space, and then you type in the password, you won't get to know the password either. There, and I press enter, it says okay, and then you can exit this. It says USB here, and then when you unplug it, boom, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. How to connect the printer through the Wi-Fi to the computer and printing it from the computer is explained in a bunch of other videos. But since I've started, I'm going to keep going anyway and explain that one. But if you just needed this part, stop the video now. How to connect the slicer and using Ultimaker Cura to the printer through Wi-Fi. Here's how you do it. First, you open up your Ultimaker Cura. You can download it. So here you are. And you go here into add printer on the top left. It's not an Ultimaker printer. And it says add printer by IP. 192.168.4.1.2.1. Add. The printer at the address has not responded yet. Okay. This was the correct IP address, right? Oh, no, it's loading. Let's see what happens. Could not connect to device. Let's try turning it off and on again. Oh, it's connected. It's got the same IP address. Add. It's loading. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to do this and then I'm gonna redo the tutorial. So I took the IP address and you know, if you open up this thing and you type CMD for command prompt and you type ping and then you put in the IP address ping and you hit enter, it'll attempt to connect to the thing and it's saying reply in 50 milliseconds. So there's a connection between this computer and the printer through the local Wi-Fi, and you can check it by doing this. Okay, let's exit. I tried figuring it out again, and I think I have figured it out. Let's see if it works now. Ping could not connect to device. Oh, let's try turning it off and turning it on again. Maracura, add printer, non optimizer by IP. I should really copy this IP address. Copy, okay. Add, oh, and it's working now. We click connect at the bottom. It gives you a bunch of things. They should be correct. You can check it out and make sure that they aren't are correct but i haven't had any problems on my other computer that i did this on and check the monitor button at the top and it'll tell you the temperatures on the printer and you can double check this you can go here to preheat it'll tell you lossless 20 bad is 21 lossless 20 that's how that works and you know it's there all you needed to do was download this Monoprice like mini v2 ultimaker marketplace plugin and that made it work